CPTUI Short Code Builder adds a button to the post editor. To add short codes, you select a post type, then a short code that was created for the chosen post type. Different post types will have different short codes. Each post type will have a default short code out of the box. The default short code can display a title, excerpt, and a featured image. Pages and posts have a single page shortcode. The default shortcode is a list. The title is a title that displays above our list. Amount is how many posts to show in the list. Featured image is the featured image of a post. You can also filter a list by taxonomies. It will show any custom taxonomies at the bottom of the list. After selecting options, click the Insert Shortcode button. It adds a shortcode into the editor just like any other shortcode you might have used in the past. It has your info from the modal place as attributes. The shortcode attributes here get passed down to the template file. Post Hello World. And then here's our list of posts we add with the shortcode. The titles and images link to the single post. How are the short codes created? The post list is any public post types. These last two uh, post types are ones I created with CPTUI. Product is WooCommerce. So out of the box, there's a default short code, which is a post list. Let's insert this shortcode using WooCommerce product CPT and look at it on the front end. This is a product and this is a product. If we go to the single, it takes you to the single page of that product item. It's a quick way to create a product list. You can create really custom shortcodes that utilize the meta or content of the post type. You could create a post type music and then have shortcodes that are music reviews or musician information. When an author selects a shortcode, you create fields for them to fill in. It's a great way to add extra repetitive content to posts and then display it formally. So how do you create and attach shortcodes to a post type? TUI register shortcode function takes a callback that returns an array of data that attaches and builds the shortcode. This shortcode is going to display a Twitter widget, and this one will display a post list of most discussed filtered by comment count. So we pass our callback function. And we hook it to CPTI extended loaded. When creating short codes, make sure you prefix your IDs. This way, there won't be any collisions. ID is the short code ID. Name is the title of the shortcode and in the drop down.
name is here um, and in the drop down. Template is tweets, tweets.php. This is the template file for the output of the short code. Location is where the template file is located. This is a plugin, and my templates are located in a folder templates. Style is a style sheet you can load when your shortcode displays. There is also a script if you want to load a JavaScript file. You register a style sheet or JavaScript file like you do in any theme or plugin. Use the registered enqueued ID in the shortcode array. So you would copy this and then use it in our uh, shortcode array. Post type is the post type to attach the shortcode to. So when you choose here, it will show up here. Keep your shortcode specific to a post type, as a lot of the content you'll want to display will be meta, titles, content, and the author will expect it to display something related. The Twitter widget here really isn't part of the post type. This is just an example of how you can really add some custom shortcodes. The Twitter widget ID is obtained from the Twitter site. In the URL of the widget creator is the ID. Copy the ID and paste it into the shortcode modal and insert the shortcode. The shortcode will display a feed of tweets in the post. And here's the display of tweets in our post. Description displays above our fields box. And here are the CMB fields. This array data is the same as you would use to create CMB2 fields. CMB has this wrapped in a little helper method to register it, but Shortcode Builder does that for each field in a shortcode. You add an array of an arrays of the fields you want. This is just a text input where I entered the widget ID. Let's look at the template for this Twitter widget. These are pretty simple to create. They are like theme template parts. The shortcode attributes are passed as an array to this attributes variable. These are the fields. This is the Twitter widget code here that I cut and pasted from the Twitter website and then echoed out the widget ID from the attributes. The most discussed shortcode is a post loop that is a simple WP query that using the attributes. Pretty simple. You can do whatever you want in the template files to create some really custom output. The most discussed shortcode has two fields, title and amount. These get passed down to the attributes variable.
You can put whatever you want in your templates to display the content. You can use post meta or any other data you want. You can create your own markup, use CSS classes from your theme, or use custom CSS. If you register style, you can add it to the shortcode array and we'll enqueue it for you. The fields in the builder are CMB2. If you've never worked with CMB, don't worry too much. It's really not that difficult, and a lot of the fields can be cut and pasted from the docs site, cmb2.io. Visit the field types. The field types link. These are the fields. Any of these right here you can cut and paste. The only one that won't work is group type. You can use any of these. I want to add a new file field to the most discussed. Here's what CMB tells you to use. We don't need the helper method add field. Shortcode Builder handles this for you. Copy the inner array and then paste it into the fields array in your shortcode callback. Now the most discussed shortcode will have a file select to get media from the WordPress media library. Now insert the shortcode. You can see the image link is now an attribute. Now that is available to output in the template file. Now let's display our image before the post title. CMB2 has some great fields out of the box, but you're not limited to those and can create custom fields. Look over the CMB2 documentation to learn more.